In the last video in my beginner's guide, I touched on how to start using your Praetorians in the Forsaken Mission. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the step next up from that one. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. You can hit the lowest level target with the beginner fleet in the Forsaken Mission, but that only gets you so far. I get about 6,000 points for level 135 I do with my Praetorians in this exact example of what I'm using. A year later, maybe it will be a different fleet, different situation, but the bottom line is the bottom level garrison fleet you use isn't very good and you need to get it upgraded to the next one as soon as possible. And by upgraded to the next one, I just mean building the next fleet that's one better. So in this exact case, what I've done is I've been hitting 135s actually on auto pretty much for a few times a few times a week. Pretty much all my repair time is dedicated to the 135s. And the Praetorians have a repair of about 12 hours, so I just hit a whole bunch of them, two or three of them, you know, twice a day, and that gets me 6,000 points per hit, and that's hitting the 135s. With those points, the really important things I'm getting is the Everest. I've already redeemed this one, so I'm going to have to actually go find this one at the bottom somewhere, but the Everest is a really, really great prize. It is pretty expensive, I can't remember, I think it was about 40,000 points, but this is the next step up, it's the Garrison Hole is the next step up. If you're watching this a year later, you might be using the Everest to get the tier 10 garrison. But what you want to do is get this one and build four blanks, which I have done. So let me go ahead and show you that. And you can use your Forsaken Mission tokens in your shipyard just to build four blank Everests. When I say blank Everests, I just mean one single thud one because that's as, as low as you can get it, it has a two second build time. Just build four of these things. What you're going to do now is you're going to start equipping these and refitting on specials, weapons, armor, etc. Those are also things you need to get from the Forsaken Mission, so it might take you an extra week if you're not playing this game all the time, but you're going to want to start to pick up tech such as the weapon for this and a few other specials. I actually have four Everest already built using tokens, and I'm going to show you what kind of build I'm looking for for the first gar garrison fleet. Now this build is actually one that I've already designed and it is working fairly well, at least in terms of what people were using. This is similar to what I was doing with my main account probably about uh, two or three months ago. The build I have shown you here is a pretty good one for a beginner Everest fleet. It has a whole bunch of ascension mortar, or icefall mortars, excuse me, which is the weapon for the Everest. It's directly built for that one, there's no really other alternate. It also has a few countermeasures in terms of anti-mortars, which shoot down enemy mortars, as well as anti-missiles, which shoot down enemy missiles. I've used Missile Defense System 3, which I got from scrapping some of those free fleets they give you in the beginner campaigns, because you really only need the best one. If you have both a Tier 8 Assault 1 and a Tier 9 Assault 1, you can scrap the bottom Assault 1. So that's where those Missile Defense System 3s are coming from. All the other tech here should be available in the Forsaken Mission, which is a really great thing. Most of them are actually really cheap. The Everest and the Mortar is the only expensive bit. In terms of the specials, the first one I have used here is an RFX engine. This is a combat speed special. Other things that might work okay here would be things like Speed System 6, for example. Next up, I have a Garrison Battery MKX. This is a Garrison Battery increases damage of a Garrison Fleet. If you don't have this one, which is available in the Forsaken Mission anyway, Siege Battery 4 should also work fairly well, just not quite as well. Next up, I have High Velocity Rounds, which is used both as a Building Damage Special and as a Projectile Speed Special. For the Everest specifically, Projectile Speed is especially important because it is useful for countermeasures and allows them to intercept the enemy weapons that are shooting at your ship, as well as means your mortars hit the enemy ship faster, enemy targets more quickly. Then I do have a mortar focus special, this is Explosive System 4, increases splash, good for mortars, as well as reduces spread so you're shooting on a more tightly focused area, so you're increasing damage to each individual target. And it also does have projectile speed, which is again fairly good for your anti-mortars, anti-missiles, as well as your mortars. Then I have a countermeasure loader special here, which is useful for countermeasures, as the name would imply. This is one of the best ones in the game, and it's really cheap in the Forsaken Mission. All these things are. I also do have a Hyper 30 on here, both in terms of the evade, as well as the combat speed and projectile speed. This is a fairly decent special. I can't remember exactly where I picked it up from. It was probably one from one of those free fleets that I scrapped because you can't get Hyper 30 in the Forsaken Mission. If you don't have this, probably put on Guidance Scrambler 3, which is a research researchable special that gives you evade. Then the armor I'm planning to go for, I actually don't have enough points in the Forsaken Mission to build it yet, 
but it's going to be something and you might be overwhelmed by choices already it's going to be the f2 it's going to be th this armor right here the f2 xm armor the prefix there doesn't matter but xm means it defends against explosive and penetrative which is the damage that garrison targets deal so once i get this it's unlimited i can equip it to all the slots here this is not a finalized best ever spilled out there but it's a pretty good one for beginners it does quite a bit of damage it's fairly fast and it has a decent amount of projectile speed it will be a huge improvement over your Praetorians, and what you're going to do is start building this thing, and then slowly you'll get one ever that might be able to do all 135 a little bit more easily, and then maybe another one you can get two or three or four going, and you can eventually get up to hitting the top tier targets. And this is going to take some time, as you can see it is 10 days per build, which is not going to go down much when you do refit, so it might take you two months to get an ever sweep going, because it is a pretty slow process which is kind of worrisome, but it is what it is. An important note, if you are hitting the level 135 specifically with an Everest, you can use a sprint countermeasure in terms of one of these slots right here, because the sprint countermeasure will actually shoot down some incoming rockets only in the Praetorian style targets. So you could use this as an option if you wanted to, but this won't work in the Everest targets, it will only work in the Praetorian targets because of some weird things Kixai has done. So what you're going to do is start building those. But there's still a way to make your ships four times better when, when just in terms of being built to actually being what we call ranked. So I'm going to take my ships, and I've just built four of them by the way, I'm going to equip a few rogue crews. I'm going to take them, if it is VXP weekend, I'm going to go kill them in a VXP target. VXP weekend happens every single month and allows you to kill your ships in an enemy target and they can get ranked up pretty quickly. And this only happens once a month after every single raid, so you sort of have to time it correctly or get lucky in terms of the timing. I'm going to use a rogue crew, a salty dogs, which means my ships will gain experience three times as fast, which you can get through rolling rogue crews. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to go hit a hit one of these VXP targets, which in this exact period of, of month are around the relay towers. As you can see, I went to locator and I found one. This has been extremely consistent and looks like I might have to find one closer because this locator is not very accurate. But what you're going to do is just suicide your ships on these things. There's one right outside my base and they just have to die inside instantly and you get your ships ranked up. Now this increases your, your reload speed by 75% and also increases your turn speed by 75%. But the exact way the math turns out, it actually increases it by it makes your ships shoot four times as fast it, it cuts the reload in one fourth so ranking up your ships is a huge 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 benefit and it is it is a great thing that everyone should be doing so rank up your Everest. so start building four blank everests and then rank them up it doesn't matter what build you have on there at the start but i did show you one that works fairly well in terms of actually using them and most people say at this point to build your ships just blank and then rank them and then upgrade and then put refit and put specials on them and stuff. It doesn't really matter too much for the purposes of this video, but I am showing you how to rank them just because it is VXP weekend. Notice these things are extremely slow. They're going to go towards the target and die in like two shots. They have no chance at all of doing anything because they're the wrong ship for this target, for this style of target, and they have like two survival anyway. They're, it's a really bad ship. They're just going to die. They're going to die and go back to my base and they're going to get a whole bunch of bonuses because they get a whole bunch of VXP veterinary experience points and they will get better and you might have to do this two or three times total over the course of the weekend. I probably don't have enough time to get these things all the way all the way ranked up because when I'm filming this VXP weekend only has about 17 hours left and the four ships are a 12 hour repair time. So that's what you're going to want to do to start getting your Everest fleet up to scratch, build four blanks, start ranking them the VXP targets if they are around when they are around, and then start putting a build on them. I've shown you one that can work fairly well. If you have alliance mate that send you another one, maybe try that and try and figure out some of the math and specials and stuff too while you're at it. It can be pretty complicated, but it could also be worth it. In the next beginner's guide video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what buildings you should be upgrading because there are some that are really, really important. And as a quick preview, you're going to want to upgrade your dock as the most important building, which has some other prerequisites, which means upgrading your outpost and your war academy and a few other things first. As you can see from just killing my Everest in that target, I got 120,000 VXP, which means the Everest are ranked up a little bit. That's what these yellow things are. 
If I go to the rank, you can see the firing speed is plus 54%, and that turns out to be the ships are more than twice as good as they were before, just because they shoot more quickly. If I hover over this somewhere, or I click gain rank instantly, I'm not going to do it, but it gives you a firing speed and a turn speed that are really increased, which is a fantastic thing. Never spend money on this stuff, never spend coins on any of this stuff. Just put on a crew and suicide them into targets. I'm going to start this one repairing again so I can go through there. And when I'm done, I will start building an Everest as I've shown you here. I'm just building four right now because the flagship Everest is also in the in the Forsaken Mission. The flagship Garrison Fleet is also in the Forsaken Mission, so you can use that. I'm actually going to build that one a little bit differently, but they might be getting about two videos from now. I'm going to start building up four of my Everest like this so I can get a low level Garrison Fleet. Once I have this garrison fleet all the way caught up, that's where the really important stuff starts, and that's where you can start using those to get caught up and get back on the hamster wheel and become a high-level player, all with zero coins. I hope this video has been helpful. It's been about as long as I actually want to go through. If you have suggestions on this series that I'm going through or other things you'd like to see in these videos, please make sure to let me know in a comment. I keep making these because people ask for them. Anyway, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.